deoxygenated blood returns to the heart through the superior vena cava, which drains the upper portion of the body, the inferior vena cava, which drains the lower portion of the body, and the coronary sinus, which drains the heart. This deoxygenated blood empties into only one of the four chambers of the heart, the right atrium. The right atrium receives this deoxygenated blood, and when it contracts, it sends this blood into the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts and pumps this deoxygenated blood away from the heart. This blood does not return to the brain and back, the hand and back, the digestive system and back, etc., because this is deoxygenated blood which has just returned from these systems. Instead, this blood goes to one place only, the lungs. In the lungs, gas exchange converts this into oxygenated blood, and red oxygenated blood then returns through pulmonary veins, two on the left and two on the right, into the left atrium. When the left atrium contracts, it sends blood to the left ventricle, and when the left ventricle contracts, the red oxygenated blood that it holds can now be pumped to the body's and the body systems and back, the hand and back, the foot and back, the brain and back, etc. The left ventricle possesses the thickest wall because its job is the hardest. It must pump blood throughout the body and back. The right ventricle also pumps blood away from the heart, but only to the lungs, which are adjacent to the heart. In contrast, the atria have the thinnest walls. They simply pump blood into the ventricles beneath them.